District 2 Supervisor David Archie is going against the advice of the FBI and other federal investigators who, who've asked county officials not to publicly discuss this issue. Last month's cyber attack that shut down much of Hines County government for two weeks could cost taxpayers a lot of money. It's unclear how much and whether the public will ever know the full price tag. When you do that, you are pretty much laying the foundation for other attackers to come or you also jeopardize in your ability to negotiate on a settlement. Board of Supervisors President Vern Gavin says that's why the FBI and other federal investigators asked them not to publicly discuss how much the county is spending to recover. District 2 Supervisor David Archie ignoring the advice to keep quiet. The people that um, fixing or getting a, us out of the cyber attack are making way more money than the people that committed the attack. According to Archie, a private contractor the county hired will be paid more than $1 million. Archie claims the people behind the cyber attack were asking for a ransom of between $250,000 and $300,000. I think that it was unwise for Mr. Archer to be citing numbers that he was not privy to and he has not set in on any of the briefings that was that was provided. Two weeks ago in a special meeting, the Board of Supervisors approved a $600,000 contract for two companies for cyber recovery and a settlement fee. Archie didn't attend that meeting. Gavin believes Archie's public comments is undermining the county's ability to recover and minimize cost. It's not a good time for it and it's certainly detrimental to the county, but in trying to make certain that uh, we are doing the business for the county in the best interest of the county. And I wanted to educate um, the citizens of Hines County in terms of what is going on with their tax dollars. That's my main concern. Now, I'm not undermining anybody. Now, today, supervisors also debated a plan to spend some $2 million to upgrade the county's computer system. Now, Archie says he will be also a no vote on that once it comes up again for passage. For now, we're live at the Hines County Chancery Courthouse. Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.